Okay, that's mandatory for all of them. From the sciences, biology, chemistry, computer science and math, geography, history, music, visual arts, religious studies and sports. So it's really broad education. So all of them, for two years, they follow the same path. Okay. Okay? Manu Pancho. All right. After that, the, well, the preparation for the final exams, the maternal exams, they stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they drop Latin. They can take it up again later if they like to. Um, what comes new is physics. An introduction to economics and law. And, uh, yo! Klar! Hast du gedrückt aufs Knöpfchen? Ich bin jetzt. Tschüss. Ja, nein, du setzt das Knöpfchen zum Drücken. Ja, okay. Okay? So, that's the first year here. We call that Obergymnasium, so that's the upper gymnasium. Yeah. And then we enter into a special program. Because our students, they do the local, the Swiss Matura, mm. and they do the IB. Yes. The National Baccalaureate. Baccalaureate, yes. Because we combine the national program and the, the IB, we're allowed to spread it over three years. Okay. Normally, the diploma program is only for two years. So from 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, the students, they combine. So 10th, 11th, and 12th, they do both. 10th, 11th, 12th, both. So national board and the IB board. Yes. All right. Exactly. Okay, so here um, in the IB um, they have no choice. Okay. Because nobody would like to take additional subjects mm -hmm. to the 14 subjects that they anyway have to 14 study. subjects every, every year. Subject. Every year. From 7th to 12th. Well, not sometimes there is a break of a year or so, but in general they have 14, in the, 14 subjects. They have 14 subjects in the mature and final exam. Okay. Okay, so that's very broad. And this is a government school? This is, this is a private school, but we have government funding for the locals. All right, and uh, outside it was mentioned the year is 1120. Yes. So that must be nine, eight, nine hundred years old yes. school. Yes, next year is 900 years. Wow, so you must be a proud principal of the school. I am a proud principal of the school, yes, 900 and years. And do you also get the transfer from the school? That uh, the government transfers you to other school and then you have to go no. and be the headmaster elsewhere? No, no, no. As we are a private school, hmm. um, we only get funding for the local students. For the local students, we're also the pl public high school. Okay. So for the local students, those from Engelberg, only Engelberg, the government pays us for the students. Pays for the students. But for all the other students, and half of our students is from outside of Engelberg, some hmm. are even international students. So they have to pay the fees. They have to pay the fees. Okay. All right. And, do and so I'm not actually... Um, Funded by the government, so I get my my salary and things I get from the monastery. So okay. they they have no, they cannot send me anywhere else. So, so is this a Catholic monastery? Yes. All right. And so the head of the monastery is the father. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, I have heard that you also play a lot of winter sports here. Of course. So uh, what do students play in sports? Well, they they go skiing. Obviously, they do Nordic um, skiing. Cross yes. country skiing, yes. they do snowboarding, they do free riding. Uh, and I, I, I want to know something about how they, uh, how you do you examine the students. So, do you have exams every six months, or how is the exam process? Well, we have regular exams almost weekly. Almost weekly, yes. yes. Small and exams, then we have bigger exams, let's say every month or two months. And at the end of every year, we have year exams. Mm. Okay. So, uh, is it mandatory for every student to get pass? Well, not in all. It's a compensation. So if, in, for example, in one uh, subject they do not meet the requirements, mm -hmm. but they exceed the requirements in another, they can kind of compensate that. Compensate not it. equally, but they okay. have to overcompensate it. So back in India, <coughs> what we have is no student fails till 8th standard. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the circular by the government mm -hmm. that every student should, mm -hmm. uh, should be passed for the grades. So here things are different. So does anyone fail here in the exams? In the final exams, almost yes. nobody. Does. Nobody fails. And uh, yeah, last year, for the first time, we had one student that failed, but that was for personal reasons. Actually. And, and how is the pressure on the students? Do they enjoy studies, or is it a bit of well, pressure here? You see, Switzerland is a very gifted country, so um, <clears throat> they're not used to work hard. So we have to put a lot of pressure on them. So some. 
some C, but it is a valuable thing that they get. Other things, well, we really enjoy to have them. an easier life there. <coughs> because in India we have to pressurize the students. There is some select class which does not requ require any uh, pressure from us as the teachers. Mm -hmm. But most of the students, uh, you need to push them now and then again. Mm -hmm. So uh, we as teachers find difficult in India because the day is also very long. We start around 7.45 in the morning and the school continues till 1, 1 and a half past. So what time do you have here in the school? So. <coughs> we start at half past seven. Okay, so breakfast is provided from the school. Well, that's for the boarders. Board, oh, you also have a boarding school We're here? We're a boarding school, yes. Okay, so 7.30 So 7.30 lessons start hmm. and we end at four. Four ten? It's a long day. It's a very long day. But that's normal in Switzerland. Sometimes in Switzerland it lasts even to five or six. So it's so from it's Monday to Friday? And Saturday, Sunday, you don't work? No. Uh, not no. even the teachers? No school, no lessons. And uh, if a student is uh, uh, suffering to understand things, he is weak, he is poor in understanding. So do you also have the facility of private tuitions? Yes. So f from the school you give the... Well, expert? they pay for it. They so, pay for it? Yes, but we organize. Yeah. Okay. So the, the same is in India. If a student is weak, we, we train yeah, them. And then sometimes they have to come on Saturdays. Yeah. And what is the su Sunday for? Then they return back to boarding house. Okay. So between 7 and 9 they return back All to right. the boarding house, they get an entry and then they start All right. working again. And what, what is the ratio that the student uh, after finishing 12th grade goes to the un university? Everybody goes to the university or some don't? Um, I would say the, the vast majority goes there. So I'd say 80-90%. So you, you must have high literacy rate. Um, no, in Switzerland the system is very uh, is is the opposite. Only fifteen to twenty percent can enter that school. University. No, our school. Our school. Yes. So the selection is very high. Okay, you're so to get to high school, school hmm. you have to be amongst the top twenty percent. Otherwise, you don't even get in here. Okay. So okay. And for example, then after okay. that, if you pass the matura. Then you can go to study whatever subject you like. So you don't have to apply for it. You don't have to have certain grades or something like that. Everybody that achieves to pass the final exams is allowed to study any subject at a Swiss university. But the entry for your school is very difficult. That's it. So say, for example, this boy is from India. Yeah. And what grade are you? Tenth? Ninth. Ninth. So uh, he is in ninth grade, and if he wishes to come to your school, so he has to pass the examination first? Well, we would look at his grades, if we can compare those. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps we would do uh, additional uh, evaluations, but mainly for, for uh, foreigners, it's German. So you see, oh, we, he we, needs we're to right. not German. Yeah. You see, only here, until here, everything is in German the first three years. So the first requirement is he should know German. Oh yes, very well. So he, he needs to achieve a C2 level, so almost mother tongue speaking level. In yes, C2 is a yeah. uh, very high skill. It's very high skill. Right. Okay. And so then, generally, if we have foreign students, they enter very early. Mm -hmm. So here we require B1. Okay. So they know quite a bit of German. Yes. But then they're prepared well. Until For they C2. Yes. yes. Six years we make, we make it possible that they... Uh, so, so what is the medium of instruction here? Well, it's all different. In, in German here? Um, here, the first three years is only in German. All right. Okay. And then, for the last three years, a few subjects they change to English. For example, biology, uh, mathematics, and geography. They're taught in English then. And also the final exams are in English. Very nice, very nice, sir. I think uh, this is quite sufficient for the understanding of us. Okay. It was a pleasure to... 